Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ron. I'm always looking for new ways to improve my Premiere Pro videos, especially when doing tutorial videos. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your content more engaging by adding a zoom in or zoom out type effect with Adobe Premiere Pro 2022. Now, I've already got a clip on my timeline and I'm just gonna zoom in on a specific part of the screen while leaving the rest of the clip alone. Now, there are multiple ways to do this. However, I'm gonna show you my two favorites and I'll save a bonus for the end if you make it that far. Uh, the first way is going to be to go into your effects panel and type magnify into the search box. Then just drag the magnify effect on your timeline. Now with the clip still selected, bring up your effects control panel and under magnify, you can set the shape of the circle or square. I'm gonna use circle in this example. Then under center, you can drag around the anchor point within the video preview screen or change the center value manually to determine the new anchor point. Now within the magnification value, you can also adjust how much you're gonna zoom in and the size setting will determine how big the shape will become. Of course, you can also play around with the other values as well, things like feather values, opacity values, and blending modes, just to name a few of them. Now, this is the first method for zooming into a clip. Now, I'm gonna show you the second method, which is actually the preferred way that I like to do it. Again, we've already got a video clip on the timeline. We're gonna go into our effects panel again. This time, we're gonna search for transform. Drop the transform feature on your clip on the timeline. Now make sure your video clip is selected and under the transform effect, choose create eclipse mask to create a mask around the object you wanna zoom in on. And you can adjust the mask handles to adjust the size or drag the center of the mark to adjust its position. And a little trick here, if you hold down the shift key while you're dragging this out, it will drag out the mask proportionally instead of just dragging out one side of the mask. Now, just increase the scale value to zoom into the part of the video covered by the ellipse mask. And of course, you can play with the other values, again, like feather to avoid hard edges, just as we did in the first example. And as a bonus tip, this is the third method for anyone that doesn't like to do their own uh, edits manually. There's a drag and drop plugin for Premiere Pro called Drag Zoom Pro. And I'm gonna leave some links to this plugin down below if you're interested. Uh, if you wanna check those out, uh, I think it runs currently five, fifty, I'm sorry, $50 US. However, I feel like I have a lot more flexibility doing all of this manually, as I mentioned in the first two methods. Okay, I wanna interrupt this for one additional bonus way to zoom in and zoom out of your videos, your photos, whatever you've got. Let me show you what I have on the timeline. It's gonna be worth it. Bear with me one more minute. If I play through this, you see I zoom into a, a part of the video and I zoom out. I've got some sound effects down here at the bottom. And all I did was I have an original clip on the bottom, on the, on the first uh, layer and on the second video layer, I just drug holding the, either the Alt key or the Option key, depending on your Mac or Windows user. I hold that down, I drag it up and create a duplicate of the bottom clip right above it. So they're exactly, they're exactly the same clip. I just created a duplicate. This is a little more advanced. I think you guys are gonna follow me, the ones that are interested in this. What you wanna do is on the top clip, I just wanna figure out, I'm gonna turn off the bottom clip. I just wanna figure out you know, how much I'm zooming in, right? So wh when I wanna start that transition for the top clip, I create a keyframe. Up here is my keyframes for position and scale. I mark, mark that with the uh, stopwatch here. I create a keyframe on the starting point. I create a keyframe on the ending point, wherever I want it for position and scale. And then on the way out, I do the same thing. I mark the keyframe and then put it back to its original position. All I'm doing at that point on the bottom layer, if I turn off the, the top layer and just turn on the bottom layer, is timing the keyframes on the bottom. And you can see them here. I've got some keyframes that'll begin at the exact same time as the top layer for opacity and for Gaussian blur. All I did was drop down, type in here Gaussian blur and my effects, drop it onto the bottom uh, clip. Same thing with, uh, you can do drop shadows, you can do any number of effects here. 
the opacity I took from its original was 100%. I dropped it down <laughs> to about 40%. And then from 40% on the way out, it comes back up to 100% again. The Gaussian blur, I took down to about 35%. And so the bottom layer is gonna be your, your drop shadows, Gaussian blur, opacity, anything you wanna drop. As I start to come in, the bottom layer, the opacity drops, gets a little blurry. Like I said, if you're white on white or doing something else here, you can even create a drop shadow effect. Add in my sound effects, and it's pretty straightforward, and I think it looks pretty, pretty polished. And that's really it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you get any value out of it. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment below. It's always appreciated. Until next time, take care. We'll see you again soon.